so right now I'm using a highly sensitive microphone which is outside and the camera that uh, you're seeing me through is on the inside of the house. Uh, the microphone is actually just above out of the frame here. This microphone is actually on low level. If I can increase it even more, it'll pick up just about everything out here. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is, it could be in the front yard, it can pick it up. Uh, which is kind of my intentions of doing this video, uh, to pick up the sounds of the hummingbird. Both their squeaks they make when, they, uh, when they're moving around and feeding, and then the other one is to pick up the sound of their wings, which sounds very similar to a lightsaber. So, I'm going to remain very still here and we'll see what happens. Now that was the female. The the males for some reason, they seem to be a little bit smarter than the females. Now, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but every time a male comes around, even if I'm inside the house and it sees any kind of movement inside the house, it just it, it flies right away. I, I don't know why that is, um, but the females that come up, I've walked in the house before, walk right past, watch them feed, and they don't even move. And I've noticed that throughout a few the past few years that I've fed hummingbirds, and. Uh, I, I, I don't know why it is. I can't figure it out. Males are just uh, very aware of their surroundings. And they don't, they're not very trustworthy of anything that moves pretty much. Or at least something that uh, they know isn't uh, a plant. Perfect. And you'd be surprised at how many hummingbirds are actually flying around you'd never notice. Because what they look like is uh, bugs, basically. They look like almost like dragonflies, and they have the same uh, flight patterns as dragonflies in that they hover and, and move around from one spot to another and basically freeze frame.
Mm-hmm.